What's going on, people? Troops TV, back again. Come on, G. Premier League football, back again. Time for the Palace preview. You lot already know, this video is sponsored by Betball. So if you ain't hit the link by now, in all my videos, you're a ham roll blood, innit? So I suggest you hit that blood clot link right now. Now, now that you've done that, let's get into the preview. Obviously, we play Palace away. Serhurst so Park. Uh, 130 kickoff and we are going for our 12th win in a row because obviously we secured the bag in Portugal you understand um, it was a professional performance you understand it wasn't the best performance it was more professional because um, previous years I think we would have probably just drawn that game you understand and Emery took a strong team out with him I respect him yet again and if we beat uh, Sporting in the next game at home then we're through in it that's secured and then we can literally just rest players for the next two games because the group will be won as well and we'll be through in it because I think we've got another home game which will be against Carabag. you expect us to win that and you would expect us to go to Volsco and get the win as well so it's good that we secured that already and then we can concentrate on the league now you understand we can put away the European side and concentrate from on now on the league until February until the European um, the Europa League obviously comes back again and I sound back again, but in the league, we have done well. You understand? We got the ball rolling. Like, we haven't lost a game since uh, Chelsea, which is the second game of the season. You understand? A lot of people chatting shit, saying we ain't played a big team, red tear tear, da 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 da, all this bollocks. But when you check the level, to win that amount of games in a row in all competitions is an achievement, blood. You understand? And I'm sick and tired of people who are trying to just put down Arsenal because. Apparently, we ain't played no one special, but you understand? Like, we are the best, we are on the best form out of any team in the top five European leagues, yeah? Top five European leagues. So that's Premier League, um, Serie A, La Liga, and the other two that you'd put up there, you understand? We are the form team in Europe right now, you understand? 12 in a row, blood. Unai and Mijuana White, oh, me. People need to put respect on our name, blood, now, you understand? You need to put respect on our name. The record is in sight, blood. The 87 record that uh, George Graham had, 14 in a row in all competitions, is in sight, blood. You understand? We go to Palace. We put in another professional performance. Hopefully, we can perform like we did in our last um, league game away from home, which was Fulham. There was hella fucking scenes in that vlog, you understand? And, yeah, man, me personally, looking forward to going to Palace. You get me? It's always a good um, atmosphere down there. You understand? The way that... the um, the ground is set, the the ceiling is kind of like, makes everything echo out in it, you understand? Obviously, Palace got their ultras as well. But let's talk a little bit about Palace, you understand? I've got my little notepad here, that's why you see me crouching down, trying to pick it up. Obviously, Palace now, yeah? These men have lost nine of their last 11 league games against us, you understand? They've got one win and one draw. The one draw was at Emirates, but last got the equaliser, and obviously the one win was when they called man 3-0, you understand? They have not beaten us, innit, like, they, um, we also have, uh, we've lost uh, one of nine of, of the nine games we've actually played at Serhos Park, which was the 3-0, you understand? Um, six wins and two draws, so we got a good record down there. So Palace are going to be scared against us, you get me? And Palace ain't doing really good in the league. I think they're 15th at the moment. I think they got seven points, but that could even change, you get me? Um... They've also lost um, their three last games, you understand? And they've only scored in uh, one of those games. And they haven't scored in their last two games, you get me? And Hodgson has, hasn't has beaten us in the nine games he's played us. Uh, played Arsenal, not Emery, played us. Um, three draws and six defeats. You get me? And yeah, I think we can go down there and get the win. I expect us to get the win. The only real threat they got is Zaha, you get me? Um... I think Benteke is injured, or he's a doubt for them as well. But we got a few doubts as well, you understand? We got the little um, problem at left back because uh, Nacho and Kalazanak both have hamstring issues. And I wouldn't put Litstander there. His pace, nah, blood, you understand? Even though Xhaka's slow, I'd, I'd put Xhaka there, you get me? You know what? Let's just get into the lineup now, innit? You get me? In goal, I'd go with uh, Leno, you understand? I think Czech's fit, but I'd stick with Leno in goal. I think he's. Done amazing, fam. You know, he ain't put a foot wrong. And the defence looks better with him at the back because obviously we want to play out the back. And Leno fits that perfectly. So I'd put Leno in the sticks. 
The back four I'd go with, um, I'd bring Bellerin back at right back, you understand? Um, Socrates came back midweek, I think he had a good performance. Um, should have got a yellow card for that um, little tug on the shirt when um, that uh, sporting player went through. Not a red card for me, uh, maybe a yellow. So for me, I'd go with Socrates and Rob Holding, blood. You understand? I dropped Mustafi, I'm not going to lie. I think Holding has done amazing this season and I think he's got a lot of confidence. He's on a good run of form and he is a ball playing centre back. You get me? Fits what we need. For me, Holding goes in. And then, like I said, Jacker is the left back I'd go with. I wouldn't put Litstein up. I think Zaha's pace will rip him to shreds, blood. You understand? We saw what happened in um, the league game against Leicester and even the. Uh, um, game against uh, Sporting. List down his pace is not there, fam. You understand? He really is 34 years old. So, obviously, because we've got Xhaka at left back, we're going to go with Gwendozi and Torreira in the midfield. I think Gwendozi had a great game against Sporting Lisbon, blood. Great, great game. I think there were three man of the matches against Sporting Lisbon still, and you'd probably go with uh, Holding, Gwendozi, and Welbeck. They were the three man of the matches. Then, obviously, you got to bring a Wobby back into the squad. You understand? The Nigeria Messi. You get me? you got to print him in. Mezzet's got to be in the number 10 role. You understand? He had a great game against Leicester. You get me? Hopefully, he can do it again against uh, Palace. And then, you already know, how about my blood clot, Yang? is on the left-hand side. And then up top, you already know, like a blood clot, Zep, my brother, is up top. You get me? So, that's the lineup I'd go with. That's my uh, match preview. Prediction, um... I'd probably go with a 2-0, you understand? I think, I think we'll get a clean sheet as well. Palace ain't scored for a bit, you get me? And even though our defence is a bit mad, I think we can go there and get a clean sheet still. So, yeah, you lot already know. Subscribe to Troops TV. Start at the 11 show, will drop tomorrow. Review, will drop tomorrow. Vlog, will drop tomorrow. Weekend wrap-up show, will drop tomorrow. And I didn't do the weekend fixture preview because it's been hella mad, fam. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mini weekend fixture preview. I'm going to preview the Chelsea game. I'm going to preview the United game. I'm going to preview the big one, Tottenham against Man City. So look out for all them vids because they soon land. But you lot already know. Big up your damn self. Subscribe to Tube TV if you haven't. I'm out.